Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be teaching you guys how to do a cut crease. I just recently started doing cut creases and they are, they've easily become one of like my favorite things to do just because they look like they'd be difficult, but they're really not. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is just go by step by step with you and teach you how to do a um, really nice, simple, easy cut crease. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look, then keep on watching. Hello, hello, all my sweet baby angels. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I always take the lightest shade, obviously, of Hit Pan. And I'm just gonna take that um, into my um, upper brow bone. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe it underneath my brow bone just to help all the other colors that we put on blend out a little bit easier. I always do this step first before I do anything else, no matter what eye look I am doing. Next, I'm going in with ColourPop's Best O Liner. It's like a burgundy-ish, purpley, beautiful color. And what I'm going to do is carve out my crease using the pencil. You can use any pencil depending on what color eye look you're doing. But you'll notice I'm taking my pencil just a little bit above where my eye naturally folds. You just kind of want to make sure that you're working with your eye shape, but you want to make sure when your eyes open that you can see that crease if that makes sense. Like, I don't want to put it exactly in my crease because when my eye is open, you're not going to be able to see that really nice, curved, crease, cut, beautifulness. You feel me? And as you can see, I'm kind of flicking it out at the end just so that it'll kind of curve up with the wing liner that I do. And then I'm bringing that one right down directly into my inner corner. You can also bring it uh, straight out from your eye, but I decided to go just a little bit more in with this look. Next I'm taking the shade Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek, which is a matte reddish shade. And I'm taking a detailer brush and I'm just going over that line I just created with the pencil liner. And it's okay if you mess it up a little bit, um, if you go like a little bit below that crease because we're gonna go back and clean it up later. But basically this step is just to help darken up that crease and add depth. And then you'll see in every single step afterwards, I'm gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just blend it out so that there's no harsh lines, obviously. And I'm going in with the shade Americano, again from Makeup Geek, and I'm going in with that same detailer brush and going over exactly what I just did. Again, it's just to add depth and add a little bit more dimension to the eye. Next, I'm going in with Coco Bear, again, from Makeup Geek. And I'm using a little bit more of a fluffier, shorter pencil brush type deal. And I'm going over just above where I place that dark color. And that's just going to be a nice transition shade. And it's going to be buffed out with a buffing brush. And yeah, basically going over it a few times just to make sure that it is nice and blended. And I always like to double check just to make sure that I'm even on both sides. Going back in with Americano on that detailer brush one more time just to really darken up that crease. Just because sometimes when you blend you can lose some of that depth. So that's just going to bring it right on back. And it looks like I grabbed Cherry Cola one more time with that brush. and. Um, worked that on top of Americano one more time because why not and then what do you know I'm taking a buffing brush and blending it out even more all right here's where we're gonna get buck wild so I'm taking a concealer I like to use a like more dense concealer just because it's really gonna cut that crease and not create a huge mess and I'm taking a flat shader brush and really just carving and I'm gonna fast forward because it's really long and tedious but you just want to make sure that you're working with the curve of your eye and making it nice and sharp. Oh 
all right and once your crease is cut for the gods you can go in with whatever lid color you want I'm going in with a shimmery shade and I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and you want to make sure that you're really careful when you're working right in that crease you want to make sure that you keep it as sharp as possible that's why I chose more of a flat thinner brush just to really make sure that I am getting as precise as possible on the lid And when you get to the outer edge, you just kind of want to lightly flick it away. Just lightly buff it until there's nothing left because you're going to go in with liquid liner to cut that bottom part out as well. All right, next I'm going in with Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And I'm not going to record this whole entire thing because um, that's too much pressure. But basically you're just going to carve out your wing and make it kind of line up with the cut crease that you created. Alright, wham bam, thank you ma'am. I've got a wing on my eye. And you're just going to see me go in and tight line using my Bare Minerals Lasting Liner in Intense Black, I think is what it's called. I hate this step, but I think I say this in every single video. It makes a world of difference. Going in with that Besto liner that we used to cut our crease at the beginning of the video, I'm just going to tight line my bottom waterline and then I'm going to go back in with Cherry Cola and I believe Americano on that pencil brush just to smoke out my bottom lash line a little bit. And I could be wrong here, I'm not 100% sure of the shade I use, but I'm pretty sure it's Shimma Shimma from Makeup Geek. And I'm just highlighting my inner corner and my brow bone with this shade. Then just going in with a coat of mascara on the top and then I'm also going to be doing the bottom lashes but I don't show it um, and then I'm going to be taking my falsies these are the house of lashes iconic lashes I just got them and I'm obsessed and here is my completed look you're welcome all right guys and that wraps up this look please give this a thumbs up if you like this and comment down below your thoughts and um, your questions. I don't know if you have any questions. Make sure you subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!